what they do is they use a strip which has some kind of scanning device and that strip moves under the image, the photo or paper or whatever it is that you want to scan. So that could be a light beam which is directed onto a recording device called a charge coupled device, a CCD. It could be some other type of recording device. It could be a drum on which you've kept the images and you know there's a scanning light beam which moves across them or the drum itself moves. In all cases, there's a recording beam of light and that's recording the image, transferring it to your computer and you're getting an image file in a standard format like TIFF or JPEG and then you can do what you like with that file. But uh, most of the scanners today are scanners something like this or a little larger, they're called flatbed scanners. Why? Because they're flat and you can put an image or you can put a print or a sheet of paper or a book or anything you like on the bed and you know then you can scan it. Now a handheld device costs about two or three thousand rupees. It's great for just a few limited applications, like if you have a small logo to scan in. So you just run the handheld scanner over that and you can scan it in. Uh, the other type of scanners are sheet-fed scanners, which are also quite popular, they're quite cheap. They're basically a small strip into which you can feed a sheet of paper. In fact, there are keyboards and there are computers which have integrated strip scanners in them. So you can feed a sheet of paper right into your keyboard and the paper goes through and you know, it is OCR'd into your computer. And finally, at the high end, you have what I described earlier, drum scanners. They're professional devices, very high quality, very, very expensive. They cost upward of 15 lakh rupees. But broadly, the, the most common scanner you'd find most often in offices today is a flatbed color scanner. I think the internet today is one of the biggest drivers for scanner usage because people get to see so much or so many images and things on the net that you know people are beginning to use images, being able to use photographs, uh, more and more in the computer. And the scanner is pretty much the only way to do that today. There is today, if you're going to be creating images only for a web page and you have to shoot a picture, develop it, scan it in, instead of that, you can go in straight for a digital camera and shoot that picture. However, having said that, a scanner is far more versatile because you can scan in so many other things. For instance, you could be getting prints. Now, you can't take a print in front of a digital camera and scan that in. You could be getting stuff to OCR in. You could be getting other objects that you want to scan. So today, a scanner is the most cost-effective way to do it because a digital camera costs upward of 20, 30,000 rupees. A scanner like this actually starts at 6,000 or 5,000 rupees. You have so many scanners today which are color flatbed scanners which range from five to 10,000 rupees and that's a remarkable thing happening in the scanner world. You can indeed, in fact, uh, with a flatbed scanner, it's especially versatile because let's say you have to scan in objects like say a cell phone. Uh, now what you'd normally do is you'd photograph the cell phone, then you'd get the photo developed and then you'd scan that in. Now sometimes in our magazine when we want to quickly shoot objects like this and we don't have the time to do all that, we just take this, we put it straight onto the flat bed and we scan that in. So what you can do is little objects like you know coins or even flowers, leaves, uh, phones, little products, uh, PCMCIA cards, credit cards, if you want to scan those in, you can put it straight onto a scanner and fire it as off. As long and as they become, fit in there. As long as they fit in there and they need to be pretty straight and flat. If you try to scan in somebody's face, that would be very difficult. Plus the, the amount of light out there would hurt the face. But uh, you can't do that, but you can scan in smaller. Maybe in hand or something. Yeah, you can scan a hand and you can keep your hand there and scan it, you'll get a beautiful image of your hand. I think the biggest area of technology development in scanners is in the flatbed arena. Uh, what's happening there is while professionals are still using drum scanners for very high-end work, they're very expensive, and flatbed scanners are catching up quite a bit. Today you've got high-end flatbeds which uh, almost match up to the quality of drum scanners. So you'll find that they're improving a lot in resolution, they're improving in speed, which is very important. For instance, today you can buy a device which you can keep in the mailroom of your office all the mail that comes in, you just keep it in a stack and put it on the scanner. At very high speed, that mail gets scanned in and that mail simply goes into a paper shredder and is destroyed. So all that's left of your mail is the scanned images and they go automatically to the network. Now that's the kind of application, very high speed scanning, uh, transferring paper to electronic, reducing the amount of paper in the office and making very effective use of this uh, conversion to digital form.